Well, today I'm here at my car and I'm going to clean it out and take some jewelry out because I bought more. So, so I think what I'm going to do today is just take something out of what I just bought and do a little video. It's probably going to be jewelry because I think that's about all I bought, I think. Okay, well, let's open it up. I've been kind of driving around the last couple days with it in my car. So it's been kind of ching ching, ching it around. I need to get it out. So I'm going to quick do this before I have coffee, before I tell myself I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so here's what I have in my car. It's a lot of jewelry boxes. And so I spent... So I spent, you know, $15, $9, $20, a little bit of a fee, $51 total. And this is what I have. I've got, well, this is boxes. So let's take that out. That's easy. Okay, Backyard Trucker and I were kind of looking at stuff. So I think I moved a little bit around. So I've got um, a cast iron kind of toy down there. That's a really old antique. I've got some jewelry. This is cute. I think this is what I've been hearing, kind of clinging around. So um, it does have a little bit of a flaw. I did take a peek. And, but it is still really cute. So if it's in still good condition, I don't know, then I will lift that up. So that's how that comes. Sorry about the wind chimes, it's windy. So I'm just gonna grab one of these, grab a box. It's kind of heavy for me to take in by myself. Um, so I probably will have to do this one at a time even. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, that's exciting. So maybe I'll do this one, that looks kind of fun. Ooh, let's see what's in here. I can't wait to open it. The weather outside is really bad, so this is like perfect timing to open this up and see what's in here. Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, so here is the box, and I recently sold one. It was red, very similar to this. Now this one is missing, it looks like a little piece here, and it's in pretty rough shape. It looks like somebody kind of tried to carve their name on it or something, and put a drink on it, but this is leather. So I'm going to try to clean this up as best as I can. I think I'll try some beeswax or something and just get that cleaned up as good as I can because I will sell that. So I think the last one, I don't know. It's so between somewhere, let's see, I'll put it up above if I can find it. Now, who do you use to edit your videos? I'm having some trouble with DaVinci Resolve. I cannot see the sound clips, so, and my nails are kind of getting a little bit wonky, so try not to look at my nails. I probably should go back in and just get them done so I don't have to mess with it anymore, but you know. Ooh, okay, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Ooh. So first up, we have a zip pull is this now I don't know do you think that this actually came together or did somebody add this to it I'm not sure so it's a little it kind of reminds me of like a little pillbox we will sell that one here's a very pretty really pretty gold chain Omega that's pretty now I don't see any markings so I'm not sure if this is real or not, but look at how pretty that is. These were really big in the 90s. I can remember going with my dad to a jewelry store and finding something for her. So I'm going to set that aside. I'll probably test that just to make sure. Oh, and here's like another one. Wow. Now I used to have one of these, but the problem is they get really kinky and you can kind of feel it starting here. And I think that's why they're just not that popular anymore because they're not that durable. This one is marked Korea. So I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, I can see something I like. Where did it go? Where did it go? Here we go. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Oh, I 
it's got a little bit of a cracked screen. That's too bad. Um, these are so adorable. Oh, look at the baby. So cute. And this is on a nice chain. That looks pretty good. Doesn't look like gold. Uh, but wow, this is cute. So I'm just going to sell this as it is. Unfortunately, it's got a crack, but hey, somebody might want that. I'll just list this probably really cheaply, cheaply on eBay. Put it in my stash. Oh, I can see something here. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, now here are some little um, lapel pins. Those are cute. I'll just sell them all together. Usually I find these um, for peace. So since they're all together, I mean, that's that's better. I'd rather sell things a lot anyway. So get that listed. Got some earrings. I think I'll make a pile of earrings. Looks like some of these are modern and some of these are probably from the 80s. Oh, this is cute. This is nice. Okay, so it's it's not gold. This kind of looks like the 60s to me, 70s. Oh, oh, look at everybody. Oh my goodness. There's a baby in there. There's a baby and there's a mommy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love this. Oh, it was well loved. Oh my goodness! I would say this is probably like 50s to 60s. Aww, and the mommy has a necklace. Okay, I'll get that listed up. That's super precious. Oh my goodness. So this is more, it looks like um, some older pieces, so that's good. And here's a lapel pin. It says chorus on it, so it's probably from a high school. Yay! Okay, so then they just threw in some costume jewelry, it looks like. It looks like um, maybe they just tried to fill it up. Um, so this was new, Priscilla's Boutique at one time. That's actually really pretty. So, you know, the beads are really nice. They're real sparkly. I will sell that. These things move on the stations a little bit. And it's new with hay, so that's definitely a sell. What's in here? Ooh, a nice, like kind of a moonstone. Some of it's cool to touch. I don't know, it's probably acrylic. Definitely vintage. Just a nice little necklace. That's pretty. Okay. I love finding older pieces. So we have, so this is just like a little ring. I think it's a ring. It might be. Sometimes you see kind of champagne glass things. Sometimes these go around champagne stems. So we'll put it to the side. So, yeah, if you know of any other editing program to use, let me know. I think some people said CapCut. I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but it's not going well. Um, let me know in the comments if you could um, what you think what you would use or what's easy Ooh, that's pretty. I thought about like Adobe Premiere or something but I just don't know if I want to get into learning like a whole big program like that oh that's pretty it's definitely a little stone and some silver tone necklace vintage okay what else we got up here? Some earrings. Looks like we have a match. So these are matching together. 
Those are some green vintage enamel earrings. We just have some cheapy chains, which is good because I'm gonna um, put some chains together. A lot of these chains are like all knotted up. Ugh. This one's already very dirty. Okay. I didn't know if this was silver or not. Okay, it's just a heart with some wings. That's cute. Oh, good thing I didn't get stabbed. That's that's nice. Did not get stabbed today. This is a really nice box, or it was really nice at one time. It's all leather with red velvet. That's gorgeous. This would be good for like displaying things at Christmas time too. Okay, here's just a nice beaded necklace. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna say this is probably 60s. Um, they used to do a lot of stuff like this in the 60s. It's got these nice beaded stations. It's longer, but you can kind of double it up if you want. Okay. Oh, and then we have a nice rosary. Looks like he needs to be cleaned up a little bit in there. This is plastic, and it's got some colorful beads on it, and maybe some other stuff stuck to it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there we go. Okay, this little guy needs a good cleaning. So I will get that done, but that's a really nice red, white, and blue for, for the holiday. Very nice. Okay, here's just a really long necklace with a chain, kind of like a fringe on it. It's got kind of an interesting um, ending. Maybe they try to pair it together, but that's a more modern piece. This looks modern also. Okay, so we have some of these wire things. Okay, we've got, what, three of them? So I'm gonna just stick these on a lot together, probably. Okay, lots of earrings. We have some bracelets, let's see what they are. Okay, here's a, like a copper tone, multi-metal bracelet. And this is like a gold tone. This is kind of nice. I'm surprised the one on the top doesn't have a marking. So this this is really pretty. It's got a nice clasp on the back and then we've got, that's very, it's actually really nicely made. That's real pretty. Um, these sell really well. So this is kind of like a copper tone, mixed media with it. It's got some silver tone some copper tone and a bracelet kind of intertwined that's really neat very cool it's kind of like an artisan piece isn't that cool how they braided that like that that's really neat that will sell well i usually sell those between 40 and 60 dollars okay now this i assume is real turquoise very dirty but it feels very cold. They're all very, very cold. So I'm assuming these are real. They're kind of like a rough cut on a silver tone. Now this kind of looks like silver to me, but I don't see any markings. So we're gonna have to assume it's not for now. So I'm gonna get that listed. That will probably sell well, I would assume. That's really nice. Okay. Here we have a nice watch. What is this? Okay, Time by Quartz on a leather band. Vintage. I, you know, I'm probably thinking like 90s on that, but it is also kind of a classic style there. Some big old earrings. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a Sports Illustrated watch by Quartz. 
And you can see here, it's got some glow-in-the-dark hands, which is kind of nice, actually. Um, looks like a man's watch, I think. Stainless steel. Um, nice. It looks like, uh, does it have a, I don't think it has an ending, does it? No, but it looks like it broke, so I am just going to put this in crafts. This is kind of all stuck together, but let's see what it is. Yes. Look at that pendant. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Okay, so I have my Persidium tester here. Let's see if this is um, diamonds. Wouldn't that be cool? Now the chain looks very gold, so it might be. No, this is nothing. It's not moving at all, so it's probably glass. It's very sparkly like a diamond. That's too bad. Okay, not real. Definitely not real. And I think the chain isn't broken. Well, I'm gonna test this because definitely looks like gold. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I really need to start testing some of this. Okay. We have, this is weird because I keep finding these. <laughs> this is another one of these weird like bar kind of necklaces that I strangely keep finding, but I, it must have been in style at one time. It doesn't look like gold um, unless it's like really dirty, but it's just kind of a necklace. I'm gonna put that in a lot and lock that one up. Light it up. A lot of 80s earrings in here. Wow. Maybe it's just full of earrings. What's this? Oh, that's cute. A little snowman. It's not real great quality, but he's cute. I'm going to lot that one up. Is it a pen or not? No, it's just something that attaches. It's kind of like a grommet thing where you can put this on something. Okay, I don't know. We'll stick it in a lot. Hopefully there's no more needles in here. Cute little earrings. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, there's like an extra compartment. Oh, that's weird. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. What's this? Capzio. And it's kind of got a broken face. Um, I'll look up comps on that, but it looks like a really nice watch. Oh, there's an extra piece in here. How cool. And more needles, and I haven't stabbed myself. I'm very proud of that. Okay, I don't see where these can come up. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, we've got a cute, oh, there's more needles, more needles. Oh, I stabbed myself. Oh, it's a cute little hummingbird. Isn't that a hummingbird? I think so. But he has a broken back. Oh, no. I stick him in crafts. Sorry. Sorry, little guy. Go to crafts. Okay, it looks like we have a ring. And it looks like kind of a crude, it's more of a cheapy ring, I think. It's very crudely made. Interesting though, right? I mean, it's it's definitely kind of an older piece. It's, it's nothing newer. Okay, so I think we got, and there's some needles waiting to stab me and I did not get stabbed. I'm so proud of myself. I can't feel that anything pulls up, so we're gonna put this to the side. A ton of earrings, and what is this? This might be something. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. Yay, it's gonna be a happy day when you're wearing bells on your wrist. That's fun. 
I love Christmas time and all the jingle bell sounds. How does this go on? Oh my lands. Oh my Atlanta. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Life is good. <laughs> okay, there's a missing piece. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I actually really like that. Look at the class. This is definitely an older piece. That is neat. I'm going to hold on to this one for a while. This is so cute. Ah. It looks like silver, but I, I looked at it and I haven't seen any markings for silver, so it must not be. It's probably some mixed metal, but that is super sweet. That is so cute. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that for a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see what kind of earrings we have. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Okay, well here's uh, the little earring lots. Now I wasn't recording, so I don't know how much you didn't see. If you didn't see this, <laughs> I found a, it, it goes up to sapphire. It's a ring, a tiny little stone silver tone and when I test it it goes to sapphire right away so um, definitely a cool little bead and it's a stone of some sort so yeah I just thought that was really cool a little tiny dainty ring so there's my earrings there's my stash okay I hope you enjoyed everybody have a really awesome weekend bye well, the power is out at our house, so we decided to go get some dinner. This looks good. Wow, look at that. That looks really yummy. Looks like they're starting to fix it. I think there's a couple down places, though. Isn't there one over here too? It's a pole down in one of these guys. It's this one over here. Oh yeah. Whoops. <laughs> and pizza for the kids tonight. Well it looks like we've got some major trees down that, that one fell down as we were walking out. That's a really big tree too, so got a lot of stuff to cut up. So some of them fell a little bit ago. I think there's another one down over here somewhere. Boy, this isn't gonna be fun. At least I have my own chainsaw. <laughs>